This is a 2021 Ford Transit 250, and today I'm going to be reviewing it. And you might be asking yourself, why am I doing a Ford Transit when usually I do normal cars that consumers can buy? And the truth is, is that Ford Transits right now are some of the hottest commercial vehicles you can buy. So why not review one? So you might be asking yourself, well, what are some of the use cases of a Ford Transit? I mean, they can include a bunch of things. You can leave it as is, where it's just literally nothing, or you could put shelves. I've heard you could even put refrigeration units in these things. I've even heard about people turning these things into RVs. So yeah, there's a lot of use cases for a Ford Transit. Not only can you get a Ford Transit cargo, you can also get a Ford Transit passenger van, or you can also get a Ford Transit crew van. Now, this one, of course, has been specced as a cargo van. It's for a company that's already been purchased, but there's a reason these people are purchasing them, and that includes space, that includes power, good fuel economy, technology, options and tons of other things so let's dive right into why people buy the ford transit so let's talk about the ford transit first i want to start on the engine i can't open the hood or i'd show you but i will tell you about some of the specifications of the engine it is a 3.5 liter naturally aspirated v6 making 275 horsepower and 262 pound feet of torque i would have thought it made more horsepower but this one doesn't now you there is another engine option which is the 3.5 liter twin turbo v6 that they put in the f-150 this is a big cargo van i thought it would make more but i guess 275 horsepower and 262 pound feet of torque is all ford thought this truck needed moving on to the interior it's very simple and very plain most of the action of your technology is going to take place in front of the front seats now that includes a steering wheel now this is a new design steering wheel that they put in the escapes you also get a newer style design from ford for the center screen the center screen runs sync 3 same sync 3 that all the other cars running sync 3 have this transit has single zone climate control you can get dual zone climate control but this one does not have it you can also get leather seats in this in the ford transit even though this is the cargo van you can still get leather seats this one only has the cloth seats which is fine they're comfortable enough and for what this use case is you really don't need that much luxury that 3.5 liter v6 is mated to the 10 speed selection transmission with overdrive this time and it's a pretty good transmission it's used in plenty of ford models and you just have your gear selector for it right here now what else do you have in here not much the most storage you have up here is going to be up here and it's going to be over here with the glove box which honestly isn't that big but big enough for the use case of this car you also get a coin slot right there as well something interesting about the ford transit cargo and this one specifically you can get these massive sun visors and the reason they're so big is because the front window is so large something else in, that's interesting about this interior is that this does not have a rear view mirror which makes sense because why would you need a rear view mirror if you can't see out the back of the car you can option with the rear view mirror and you can option the rear view mirror to have the backup camera in it but this one does not have it so the backup camera goes to the center screen other than that up front the interior is pretty basic so how much does the ford transit actually hold behind the front seats now this actually holds about 315 cubic feet of cargo that you can store back here whatever you want it to be in the back of the transit which is a pretty large amount you also have lights running in through the ceiling right over the gopro actually there's two lights that I'll have to show you with B-roll, but you also have lights back here. And this is that wiring harness I was talking about as well that you can wire up to do multiple different things. This is truly a very versatile commercial vehicle that any company could use for any purpose. All right, so moving on to the exterior of the Transit. Like I said, this is a pretty basic cargo van, so there's not much to talk about, but I do wanna go over some of the specifications of how this Transit was set up. Now, this is a regular wheelbase. It's not the long or the short. It is a medium roof, and again, it's the cargo van configuration. And that's a very popular configuration. The tall roof is, I mean, incredibly large, like luxury level, you kind of put TVs. That's really what you'd make an RV out of. But this is just the medium roof line. So this is probably the most popular version of the Transit that you can get for commercial use. But I will say it's probably about eight feet tall, so it's a very tall car. The front is very small and I've driven it. It's not that hard to drive. It's a lot easier than I thought it was going to be, even though this thing is pretty long compared to other cars and very tall compared to other cars. Now moving on to the side cargo door, this thing is not very hard to open. You just pull on it, pull out, and it opens up. 
and gives you a pretty wide opening. You have steps right here to step up into here and these steps feel pretty sturdy and they're plastic so it's not like you're stepping on something that's important. This is the side door to the cargo van. And moving on to the rear doors of the cargo van, all you have to do to open these is to pull this one which opens this door first. Be careful if you don't push it all the way out, it will fall back and hit you. And then all you have to do is reach in here and grab this little lever which pulls this door open and you have a pretty wide opening of the rear of the cargo van. And to shut them, you just shut the left door first and then the right door and it shuts just like that. Also something to note is that the parking sensors stick out pretty far at the bottom of the cargo van. I first saw this and was like, wow, usually in regular cars, we just integrate those into the bumper. Not so on the transit, they have it stick out very far. It's actually different lengths on the left side. The left sensor on the back is a way different size than the right sensor. Pretty interesting. But like I said, this is a pretty basic vehicle. The vehicle even has steel wheels, but for commercial use, it's perfect. It has everything you'd want. It's a decent price. This one is about $40,000. They started about 35. It's a decent price for a commercial vehicle. Typically, commercial users don't really need tons of fancy electronics. They just need something that's going to work, get the job done, and last. And these transits are known to do all three of those things. All right. So driving the Ford Transit 250. I mean, what else can I say except it's, it's a cargo van? It drives fine. I, I honestly think that the way Ford set up the driving, the steering is, I mean, it's got a really good turning radius. It's very simple to drive, even though it's a lot bigger than a normal car. Um, we'll say this, road noise is not, uh, not great. You can basically hear everything on the outside. And it's very echoey in here. But that's to be expected. It's a commercial vehicle. It's not an expedition. But for being such a large vehicle, it's very simple to drive. Another thing I'll say is how the, the size of this window up front. It's just crazy. It feels like you're driving a bus. Now, as for comfort, it's fine. It's not harsh. It's not super comfortable. The seats are cloth. The seats aren't leather. Um, and they're not amazingly soft. But again, it's a commercial vehicle. So it's not going to have all these creature comforts like an Expedition would or an Explorer Platinum. Now, as for modes, you have normal, eco, slippery, and tow and haul. Uh, this one doesn't have the towing package, but if it did, the rear wheel drive configuration with this engine, I believe tows about, is about 3,900. Now, here's the thing with the transits. Um, and this is a very big problem that a lot of automakers are going to end up facing. They are not going to be making a bunch of these within the next year. With SK Hynix and Samsung, the two major semiconductors having issues with production due to COVID, due to decreased demand before, now they have to ra ramp up demand because there's such a high demand for vehicles. Um, Transit, F-150, Bronco, I mean, the Bronco's probably not going to come around until 2022 now, full-size one. But, yeah, there's not going to be many more of these made in the next couple months. I believe they've stopped all production. They won't start production again until June and then those ones won't be here until or, or late late 2021 early 2022 so if you're looking for a transit I mean you might be having to buy used because new ones are not going to be being manufactured whatsoever a lot of new car lots have turned into primarily used car lots just due to the demand of cars and there being a strain on the supplies and the semiconductors to make them. So if you want to transit, sadly, you might not be getting one new. So driving this thing, like I said, pretty easy, pretty simple. Um, and it's a great all around commercial vehicle, honestly. I, I think it's, um, I think it drives well for the size it is. I think it has amazing versatility. Um, another thing I forgot to mention, this actually has lane keep assist in it. Very helpful for such a large vehicle. So that is a 2024 Transit cargo van. It's a great commercial vehicle with tons of versatility and great amounts of practicality for what you get. And for 40 grand, that's not a bad price for something like this. If you like the video, go ahead and smash that like button. If you want to see more from us, go ahead and subscribe. And I will see you all in the next video.